Welcome back to Fisher Family Adventures. We are back today on my 29 sailfish and we're headed offshore. The grouper bite has been really good since the opener on January 1st and we look to continue that trend today. We are headed out of Marco Island, Florida from the pristine beaches to the deep and plentiful waters of the Gulf of Mexico. Put the trolling motor in. We're just out here fishing this uh, strike lines bottom. Looks like some group bottom there. Simple knocker rig, three ounce lead and 95 feet of water. We've got our pen slammer with our pen carnage jigging rod. Let's see what we get. What do we think? Good one? Something small. What is it, a red grouper? Yeah, a small red grouper. He was, they're hungry down there. Got him on. Feels like a small grouper. It's a small one on the 3 8 ounce jig head, so it got to the bottom. I got a fish. I got something. Feels like a small grouper. Yeah, I got small red. They're here. There's a small one now. Oh, that's a grunt. I got a bait for you, Tom. Might be our first keeper. Ah, uh, he's gonna be close. Nah, I don't think he's gonna keep. He might be close. Wow. Well. Nope, tiny. 16. Better than the other ones, though. After catching a couple shorts, I decided to send the GoPro down to the bottom and see if there are any bigger ones in the area. On the bottom we see it's sandy with a good mixture of plants, coral, and other life in the area. I see some mangrove and yellowtail snapper as well as some triggerfish, amberjacks, and a couple decent sized red grouper. This tells me that there are big ones in the area and we just need to get them to bite, so we put down a bigger bait. There you go, Tom. Take him, get him, get him. Get him. Tom, reel him. You got it, come on. That's on a jack too, nice. It's a good fish. This actually might not be a grouper, but we'll see. Big fight? Nice, man. Well done. He's coming up, right? We'll see him. All right. Hell yeah, man. Keep him coming. Fighting hard. Oh, I see him. That's a good one. It's a good grouper. There we go. 
That's a nice one. The GoPro tells the stories. We got this good sized red grouper right after. Pretty sure you got a shark on. I'll reel up. And when he gives you time, let him run. Oops, snagged on here. So hold on. You're good. You get in line on him? Yep. I think it's a goliath then. Probably a decent sized goliath, but not a big one. That's what I would think it is. Unless it's like a Kobe or something? I don't know. It could be a Kobe, dude. But I'm thinking it's a goliath. Yeah, there he is. There he is. We're gonna see him. What is that? Is that a goliath? Yeah, it's a goliath. Good to know they're down there. Goliath. Good to know those Goliaths are here. There we go. I got a bite. Doesn't feel like a grouper though. It feels like an amberjack actually kicking a lot. Ooh. I think it's an AJ. Are you an AJ? Yeah, it's AJ. Buddy, calm down. These things fight so hard. Jack. Small red grouper. On the mullet, right? Oh, I think he'll keep, won't she? He's got a lot of action. This may not be a red grouper, man. Look how he's fighting. This could be a good snapper. May not be a red. I'll get the net though, either way. I wonder what it is. Ah, I think it's a red, yeah. That should keep. There we go. Eh, not the biggest one. Well. It's down there though. What is this? Yeah, he's too big. I think we got a Goliath on. Any fish that's too big when you're a grouper fishing, it's usually a Goliath. Yeah, it's a Goliath, look at him. Not what we wanted. Some smalls trying to eat this. Some small. Really small. Oh. What is this? I think some eight whatever I had on that was small. And now I think I gotta keep a red on. <sighs> no, I got yours, I think. What the fuck? Yeah, I have yours and I think you have a fish on. Look, this is what ate me. And you have a fish on, Tom. All right, my fish got away and I'm tangled with you and you have a fish on. Don't start reeling yet. I gotta get unhooked. I gotta freaking cut this because you got a fish on. I know you're. you're I'm. I'm on you. I'm. Re I was reeling in yours. 
All right, I gotta break this. I'll deal with that later. Oh man. Um, we gotta hand line this, I think. We gotta try reeling in, see what happens. Yeah, you're too tangled in this shit. All right, we gotta hand it up, Tom. I think I got him. It's actually not that big. He's right here. It's not that big of a one. Something ate him though. It's a, I think it's a grouper. It's right here. Yeah, it's a red. Ah, I might keep. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a red. Oh. All right. Got him. Oh. That's a fish on the squid tracks. Oh, it's a good one. Nice. This is on the artificial. I can't tell how big it is because it's a real light rod. I know. Can't tell if this is a good one or not. I see him down there. Yeah, get the net. No, he's right here, Tom. I see him. What is that? Is that a red grouper? Yeah, get get the net. That's a good one. Yeah. That'll keep. Ah, it's not a not a great one. He'll keep though. He'll keep. I got him here. I got him. Got him? Yeah. He'll keep. Yeah. On the squid tracks. Look at that. I like this artificial. They're right here. Can you want to go swimming with them? Man, they are right here. Oh, he just, nope, he's on. He's off? Oh, he's on. Yep, on a good one. Yep. Hit the power button on, on the engine panel, the left. There we go. He's pulling drag, this is a good one. Tom, below the steering wheel. Hey. Alright, never mind, never mind. Just grab the net, Tom. Come on, don't be like an AJ, be a red. What is that? Is that a red? Yeah. There we go. That's a good one. That'll keep. Not the biggest. All right, hitting that power button. Just start and stop below it. Yeah, you get the power. Yeah, it's right, it. right. Red grouper on the uh, strike line spot. Just ran over some hard bottom here and drifted past it. How big? Let's see. 23. Not the biggest, but I'll keep. Oh, yep. Holy oh, Tom. Oh, I got a good one. There's no way this is a red, right? Whoa, it's 
No, wait, there's a red grouper. Let me tighten up a little bit on the drag. Yeah. See, this is just the keeper. This is a good one. Come on, stay glued, baby. Stay true, pony boy. Oh, this is a good fish. Grab that, Tom. You the net? Yeah. He's right there. I see him. Actually, I think it might be an AJ. Or is that a red? I can't tell. I think it's a red. Yeah, get the net. Oh, he's still fighting. Oh, yeah, that's the one we're looking for. That's a good one. That's the one we're looking for, Brent. That's the one we want. Yeah, that's a good one. That's the 30 we've been looking for all day. I love these bigger red grouper because they put up such a fight. Keep them tight, Tom. You have to slide back though for the um, the net. It's a good one. Slide back, Tom. Let me net him. You got him, man. You got him. Oh, I see him coming. Come towards me. He's a good one. Oh, he's coming. Yeah. That's a good one. Whew, that's a nice one too. Nice fish, man. Oh, nice. He's a fatty. Yeah, that's a good fish. Ate the live grunt. A lot of people at the tower today. I'm gonna circle around. Yeah, they're diving around it. These guys just uh, kept a barracuda over there. Another barracuda going in the boat. The pelicans better not steal any fish. I find this is the easiest way to fillet a grouper. You can cut them up real quick with a sharp knife. And then trim out the rib cage, like so. You can cut out the cheeks, but it only really works for the bigger ones. And then you can take the skin off just like this, by using the weight of the grouper. And then you're just left with your slab of meat like this. Now most um, rig grouper have these little worms in them. They're pretty harmless. Um, I normally just cut them out before I'm cooking them. Some people on YouTube like to eat them though. Oh, he's really young, that's what it is. See, when they get older, they get the block hair. Welcome back to the kitchen. Today we are gonna be making our spicy grouper pasta. I feel like I come up with a million different ways to cook grouper that I've done because we catch so many of it down here. So we've got our oven preheated to 375. We're boiling some water. We're gonna put our peppers and tomatoes on a little bit. We just got a little bit of salt and pepper on our grouper. So I trimmed and I cubed out these fillets, took out the bloodline, and we're gonna cook it in the cast iron skillet right here and then bake it all in the oven to finish it off to put the dish together. So let's get our grouper in here. Nice and hot, perfect. And the grouper will cook quicker. Obviously, since it's not a big fillet. Mm, nice sizzle. All right, I'll check back in a little bit. I'm gonna keep stirring our grouper to make sure it cooks evenly throughout. And then we're gonna bake it in the oven. Mm. 
So now that our grouper is pretty much cooked, I'm gonna go ahead and add red sauce. And this stuff is really spicy. I love it. So put a red sauce in after the grouper is pretty much cooked. And get it hot. And then bake it in the oven to finish it off. A combination of red sauces here. Give it a couple minutes to heat this up. And then we're gonna put her in the oven. Cook everything all the way through. All right, now that our red sauce is good and hot, we are going to bake it in the oven a couple minutes to cook it all the way through. All right, our grouper should be cooked all the way through. So, last thing we need to do is combine it with our tomatoes and onions and our pasta, and then eat it. Wow, look how delicious that grouper looks. Mm. Wow, that's awesome. So looks like it came out really well. You can see this grouper just flaking apart right now from the chunks. Well, we're gonna enjoy it. It's hot. Ooh, that's hot. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy content like this.